Hi there. Uh, today I'm responding to another question asked by uh, Mr. Somudeep um, on how blockchain can be used in smart grids or um, new generation microgrids. So I'm responding to that question. Uh, thanks a lot, Somudeep. Uh, so let's see. Uh, smart grids uh, have been there for uh, for for quite some time. It is a very developed uh, technology. Uh, many countries and governments are now spending significant funds, uh, significant investments to boost uh, smart grid adoption by, via uh, uh, DSM technologies, that is demand side management. One new entrant to this, uh, this industry or this field or this technology is blockchain. And blockchain is taking smart grids to the next level and in this video, uh, I will see, I will show, uh, I will talk about how blockchain can be integrated to smart grids and what benefits it achieves. So let's see, uh, in the traditional smart grid, it is, uh, it is where the energy or electricity is generated using solar panels which are placed on the rooftops of, uh, of houses. So people who own a house have a solar panel at the, on their home, uh, can generate electricity save or use that electricity for their own uh, requirements, own demand and uh, the excess amount of energy could then be uh, transmitted or shared or sold to the current uh, electricity grid. So for doing that, the electricity grid uh, pays a certain amount of uh, money for the people who contribute energy. This is beneficial on for both parties that is the user who generates the energy and the electrical com electricity company that uh, uh, buys this energy because this uh, such an arrangement prevents further capital investment from uh, electrical companies to bo to put in new infrastructure however uh, the it, traditionally we have seen that the amount of money that the electrical companies pay to their consumers is quite low compared to what uh, electricity uh, sellers uh, pay when they actually buy from the grid so if i am a, so if i have a solar panel at my house and i generate energy i i may get say 10 cents when I sell it but when I have to buy the same amount of energy I may have to pay 30 or 40 cents so there is a discrepancy here uh, which has uh, which has led people to think about different technology that could solve this problem this is where blockchain comes in because blockchain now allows sharing of sharing of energy across uh, partners in a peer-to-peer -peer manner which means I do not have to sell energy to the grid instead i can sell it to my neighbor and i am in control of how much uh, i can sell that energy for and this kind of a relationship this kind of an arrangement between different peers or different people sharing the energy amongst themselves without using the traditional grid uh, can be implemented using blockchain where blockchain will be useful in tracking how much different consumers are generating and consuming and a, a kind of a market could be set up where this information uh, this energy uh, energy can be traded and people can get the right amount of uh, uh, economic uh, returns based upon their investment so it is a very new and uh, upcoming area uh, for for studying uh, in terms of technology as well as in terms of its utility for the society uh, and for the uh, consumers who are using it. So in short, that is my response to your question, Somudeep. Uh, I hope uh, it, it gives you some more insights into how blockchain can be useful in microgrids and smart grids. Thank you very much. Uh, hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe to my video and leave any comments so that I can answer it further. Thank you very much. Bye bye.